There's so many hyped up and viral food spots around LA on TikTok, and it can be hard to decide which ones are worth a trip. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a few of the top spots and decide whether you should visit or skip it. Well, let's go to the first one. All right, so our first stop here is Ghost Sundo Shop. It's just off of Melrose, right in the heart of LA. They're all over TikTok for these giant Italian subs that have a whole bunch of deli and cheese and toppings, lettuce, and their signature sauces and spreads. I did their signature sandwich, which is the Melrose, and it comes with, you know, tons of deli meats like ham, turkey, bacon, pepperoncini, and other toppings as part of their Melrose spread. It sounds and looks really good. Let's dig in. Mm. Oh, this is the sandwich. I love me a good, not like a good Italian stuff. All those meats, and yet it doesn't feel overpowering. You know, it all kind of complements each other because it has a really good spread inside that is light, but with a tad bit of heat to complement just that sauciness. Richness. It's a little bit worried that it might be one of those kind of, you know, gimmicky, tacky places that does big, flashy things to look good on social media. But no, this is legitimately really good. Everything has a place in the sandwich, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not there for the sake of the camera, although it does look good on the camera too, but... Mm. Your taste buds will thank you for getting this. This is worth the hype for sure. So, is it or skip it? Is it? So it's $16, but I mean, that's basically how much it costs to get a sub at Subway these days. And when you're visiting LA and traveling to LA, you don't want to just get Subway or even like Witch Witch or Jimmy John's or something. You want to get something unique and local. As I've said in a lot of my food videos, try out some of the local spots that you can't get elsewhere. And this is definitely one I'll add to my list for sandwich stops. Really delicious and great for your Instagram if you're interested in that type of thing. <laughs> Good visit for the first stop. Let's move on to more viral stuff around LA. You may recognize the spot we're outside of now, right next to the Grove in the heart of LA, and one of the most infamous and viral spots on social media that's often used to mock vain and overpriced LA, Erewhon. But is it actually worth a visit? Well, let's go find out. All right, got my stuff. You know, I of course had to do the Haley Bieber smoothie that everyone talks about. Oh, I gotta say, I like strawberry smoothies and it's pretty good. It took a little bit of time to actually get this one. It's a good smoothie. <laughs> it is really good. $19 good. Well, if you have that type of money to throw, I guess, but for regular people, probably not. <laughs> So I got a few of the staples that I see a lot of people getting. There's these organic broccolini, the mac and cheese. I of course had to do mac and cheese as a self-proclaimed mac and cheese lover and connoisseur. I'll be a quick judge of whether I love it or hate it. Vegan buffalo cauliflower and Korean short ribs. And we got our spread set up been slurping up that Haley Bieber smoothie. It is a really good smoothie, one of the best I've had. I got, you know, a little bit of staples from each of the different categories, so veggie, meats, vegan stuff, and some starch. Let's get our veggies out of the way and try that first. So it said it's organic broccolini. <laughs> Pretty vibrant green. I like that at least. Mm. One of the best vegetables I've ever had. It's got a great crunch to it. You just feel so healthy eating it. I mean, really good seasoning. I don't know, what does it have on it? Let's, oh, did it fall off? Oh, it's down here. <laughs> organic broccolini, of course. <laughs> organic garlic, organic extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, and pepper. Yeah, I really like that 
It's really simple. A little bit of garlic and olive oil, fresh and healthy. Moving on from the veggies to the meats, I have a Korean short rib, okay? Oh. <laughs> so this short rib has, well, it has some brown sugar, some rice vinegar, sesame oil, garlic, ginger, some chili paste, and some green onion. Mother and daughter? Mm, it's really good. Wow. You know, I love my K-Town restaurants, Koreatown. This definitely can match up and rival it. Very tender, easy to chew and go down. Now moving on from the meats to the fake meats, we got their buffalo cauliflower, which I've seen a lot of other YouTubers and TikTokers try out in their visits here, and a lot of them seem to really like it. It seems pretty basic. Mm. It's alright. You know, I do like good vegan food. My family's vegan. I go to like the vegan fairs around LA a lot. I've had, you know, buffalo cauliflower chickens. Actually, just this past weekend, I went to Lawless Brewing, one of my favorite breweries over in North Hollywood, and they had a little vegan fair going on outside of the brewery. I got some really delicious buffalo cauliflower there. Great sauce, great heat. This, eh, doesn't have much flavor to it. Kind of just tastes like a, you know, fried cauliflower. Not really that special to me. I don't know. I'd pass on that one. <laughs> okay, there is a little bit of heat to that cauliflower. <laughs> Let me move on to the main attraction, for me at least, the mac and cheese. Ooh, I've heard a lot of good about this as well. And as I was saying earlier, I'm a mac and cheese lover. So, let's see. It's a solid mac and cheese. It reminds me a little bit of like the mac and cheese Chick-fil-A has. Honestly, I'd probably take that over this, especially considering the cost. The Chick-fil-A one is, you know, a bit more creamy and cheesy. This one, it does have a good, I don't know, you can hear it with the mic, crispy, crunchy, toasted top, and a decent amount of cheesiness and creaminess. So, you know, it's something I would definitely eat and enjoy, but not something to go out of the way to come here and get if you know what I mean. So on this visit, I spent about $65, $70 total, you know, 20 after tax for that smoothie. Short ribs were about $15, 10, oh dang, that was quite a bit. The mac, yeah, I wouldn't get the mac and cheese. 10 50 for the mac and cheese, broccolini seven. Wait, oh no, they put mac and cheese twice, so now I don't know. Oh yeah, and I was noticing that <laughs> even the, cause you know, here in California, you have to pay for like, bags you know like at the grocery store and they're usually like 10 cents a bag or whatever they're 20 cents here at arrow one so even the grocery bags at arrow one are double the price <laughs> anyways after considering the taste and quality and prices and all of that oh, there's a dog going wild behind us <laughs> anyways after considering the taste and quality and price of everything we tried would i recommend arrow one well yeah, especially if you're visiting, it really is a LA experience to have. <laughs> and some of the stuff, Carlos here has a few inputs he'd like to give on Arrow One. I would just honestly say I would get this at least once. I really like strawberry smoothies, so if you're not paying for it, I say go for it. And yeah. the this is a really good sampling of KBBQ if you don't want to go all the way out there for it. This tastes really legit. That's all. I agree. <laughs> we got more viral spots to try out in LA. Let's go. Okay, we made it to our next spot, Cousins Brothers Tacos. And just between you and me, it's actually been a couple of weeks since the last place we were at because, well, hey, we took a little trip to New York City. And actually, that vlog is already up, so you can check out that one next if you want to. And then B, this is located all the way over on the west side on Sot Hill Boulevard. Quite the drive that I've been honestly procrastinating on making. But 
now we're here. This is one of those spots that I feel like is the most popular and viral overall when it comes to those LA taco spots on TikTok. Because, you know, obviously there's a ton of those street food taco trucks all over LA, but I've been seeing a lot of TikToks about this one go viral. So the big thing here is their big burrito. I've heard from the TikTokers that you gotta try it. And then of course, we're gonna get some of the tacos. I believe they're about $2. But anyways, as you can see, <laughs> we're waiting in the line right now. It's really long, but <laughs> I'll get back to you once we've got those tacos and burritos. <laughs> Burrito. Yes. <laughs> okay, woo, that was a little bit overstimulating. It moves pretty fast once you order. But anyways, we got a whole bunch of stuff. You know, we got extra stuff to take home with us. So we got like eight tacos and we got a little bit of a bonus thing. Okay, I found a more well-lit area to try out the food. I just tried all of them over where we were parked, which was super dark. So anyways, let me do round two of taste testing some of these. So as you can see, I've got this burrito. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Got we did a sod of meat, and then there's cheese, rice, beans, some onion, cilantro. Filling, really satisfying, tender cooked meat. Good. Is it a standout from other places? Not necessarily. So it's still a solid spot if you're nearby. I don't think I'd be driving from Hollywood to get it again, but it's definitely good in the area. The taco. I added a little bit of lime to it this time. <laughs> got some toppings on it. I forgot my queso, unfortunately, but it's still good. You know, the meat is all very tender, well cooked, very solid street food taco in LA. So definitely worth it. Bonus one. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, I did a little bonus snack because I love me some good mulitas. And I noticed that the mulitas here were only $3. And a lot of the ones over in like Hollywood Silver Lake are kind of expensive these days. It's just some cheese, asada, you can choose the meat. Well, we did a sada. Mm. Sorry, I've, I've already tried all of them, but yeah, it's really good. The cheese melted perfectly on that tender meat. It hits the spot. I love me a good mulita. For whether it's a visit or a skip, I'd say it's a visit. Now, with a caveat, because, you know, me coming all the way from Hollywood, whew, that was quite the drive. Driving in LA can sometimes be a little overstimulating for me. Anyways, what I'm saying is I probably wouldn't personally make the journey out here specifically for this in the future. If you're by Sawtell on the west side, I definitely say it's worth stopping by if you're wanting some good tacos in LA. Anyways, let me know if you'd want to see similar videos like this in the future. Although, I don't know if I'd want to make that drive again to places out here. Other than that, check out my New York City vlog if you haven't yet. Next! And with that, I'll see you later. Bye. Let's pause it for now and get B-roll shot. Slurping up that Haley Boop. <laughs> <laughs>